Meet the TP-Link Deco BE63, a Wi-Fi 7 mesh system designed to drag your home network into the future. The TP-Link Deco BE63 makes a very different first impression than most routers. Instead of sharp angles or bulky antennas, each node is a clean, all-white cylinder that almost looks identical to an Amazon Alexa Echo. It's minimalist, modern, and designed to blend into your space rather than stand out. More like a smart home accessory than a piece of networking hardware. The unboxing experience feels refreshingly premium. The box opens with simple fold-out flaps, no messy tape or tear strips, and everything inside is neatly organized. Right on top are the three nodes, resting in pull tabs that make them easy to lift out, a thoughtful touch, and a small blessing if you've ever struggled with tightly packed electronics. Beneath them, another flap reveals the hardware, three power adapters, an ethernet cable, and the documentation. And in classic TP-Link fashion, there's also a reset pin included. It seems small, but it saves you from scrambling for a paperclip or safety pin when you need to reset a modem or router. All in all, it's an unboxing experience that feels carefully thought through and a design that fits seamlessly into almost any room without calling attention to itself. Let's talk specs. The TP-Link Deco B63 is a tri-band Wi-Fi 7 mesh system that broadcasts across 2.4, 5, and 6 gigahertz. With support for 320 megahertz channels, it delivers BE10,000 speeds for lower latency, smoother streaming, and more bandwidth for dozens of devices. Compared to Wi-Fi 6E, Wi-Fi 7 doubles channel width, adds multi-link operation for more reliable connections, and boosts throughput with 4K QAM modulation. Each unit includes 2.5 gigabit ports, all auto-sensing for WAN or LAN, making it a strong match for multi-gig plans or hardwiring gaming PCs and consoles. Security and management run through the Deco app, with WPA3 encryption, parental controls, and AI-driven mesh that adapts to your home. It's definitely pricier than most Wi-Fi 6E systems, guys, but it's built to carry you well into the Wi-Fi 7 era. Getting the TP-Link Deco BE63 online starts with the Deco app, which guides you step-by-step -step with clear visuals. It's intuitive and approachable, especially if you're a visual learner like me. Still, my setup wasn't flawless. Even with my ISP gateway in bridge mode, I had to hard reset my modem three times before the first node would connect. The process itself though is straightforward. You unplug the modem, connect the Deco via ethernet, power the modem back up, and then you plug in the node. But the app struggled to detect it at first. However, on the third try, once the LED pulsed blue, setup moved pretty smoothly. All you have to do is confirm the model, select internet type, name the network, and set a password. After that, the remaining nodes paired automatically once plugged in, and the app even offered placement tips to avoid interference. The repeated modem resets were definitely frustrating, but once the first node connected, the rest of the process was quick. Including troubleshooting, I had the Deco BE63 fully configured and streaming in about 30 minutes. Once you're online, the Deco app becomes your command center. The home screen puts the essentials front and center, network status, connected devices, and how each node is performing. Pausing a device, renaming it, or checking which node it's on takes just a tap with no endless menus to dig through. Where the app really shines is in its guidance and extras. During setup, the visual prompts and diagrams made node placement feel intuitive, and once you're connected, TP-Link's Home Shield service adds parental controls and scheduling tools. The free tier covers basics like content filters and activity logs, while a subscription unlocks more advanced protections such as network scans, security recommendations, and detailed reporting. For smart homes, the Deco app also pulls double duty. You can create a separate network, integrate TP-Link's Casa or Tapo gear directly, and even run built-in speed tests to keep tabs on performance. It's not overloaded with pro-level toggles, you guys, but that's part of the appeal. A dashboard that balances simplicity with just enough depth to keep your network safe and stable. Now for the fun part, performance. I tested the TP-Link Deco BE63 in my two floor bungalow under both calm and busy conditions, from light browsing to streaming from every smart device at once. To get a full picture, I ran tests five feet from the main node, 15 feet away with a wall in between and upstairs on the second floor. At five feet from the main Deco BE63 node, speeds were rock solid. In calm conditions with only one device connected, download speeds were 763 megabits and upload speeds were 41 megabits. Even with the network fully loaded, download speeds held steady at 762 megabits while uploads dipped to 35 megabits. That's essentially no change in downloads and about a 15% decrease in uploads, a strong showing given the amount of traffic. At 15 feet away with a wall in between, the system remained just as reliable. In calm conditions, download speeds reached 835 megabits with uploads at 39 megabits. 
Under busy conditions, download speeds were 799 megabits and upload speeds were 41 megabits. That's only about a 4% dip in downloads and a 5% gain in uploads. Proof that the Deco BE63 barely flinched even with a barrier and multiple devices competing for bandwidth. Upstairs is where the Deco had to work harder, cutting through walls and flooring. In calm conditions, download speeds dropped to 542 megabits with uploads at 36 megabits. Once the network was fully loaded, download speeds slid further to 441 megabits while uploads climbed to 40 megabits. That's about a 19% decrease in downloads, but an 11% increase in uploads. While not as strong as the closer tests, the speeds were still plenty for streaming, gaming, and working without issue. Taken together, the Deco B63 proved it can thrive under pressure. Close to the main node, it stayed remarkably consistent, and even upstairs under load, it held its own. Wi-Fi 7's wider channels and multi-link capabilities clearly helped this system juggle heavy traffic, keeping downloads steady and uploads surprisingly resilient across the house. Compared to the competition, the TP-Link Deco B63 lands in a sweet spot for Wi-Fi 7. With tri-band support, 320 megahertz channels, and multiple multi-gig ports, it outpaces many Wi-Fi 6E systems that still dominate this price tier. It costs more than popular Wi-Fi 6E kits like TP-Link's own Deco XE75, but you're paying for future-proofing that will last years longer, you guys. Against the AeroPro 6E, the B63 clearly comes out ahead. The Aero tops out at Wi-Fi 6E while the Deco pushes into Wi-Fi 7 with wider channels, faster throughput, and better long-term value. Even stacked against the Aero Pro 7, the BE63 holds its ground with stronger range and more multi-gig ports, though Amazon's router still leans on its ecosystem integration as a selling point. On the higher end, TP-Link's Deco BE85 and Netgear's Orbi RBKE 963 push performance further with 10 gigabit ports and even more raw bandwidth, but both come with much steeper prices, with the Orbi often running double the BE63's cost. Unless you already have multi-gig internet service that need that level of power, those options are definitely overkill for most households. That's where the Deco BE63 stands out. It's not the cheapest and it's not the most extreme, but it threads the middle with next-gen Wi-Fi 7 performance, a polished app experience, and a price that's premium without being punishing. For buyers who want speed, stability, and room to grow, it's one of the best balance systems in its category.